everyone. I'm Geeta, your maths teacher here. I display few objects here. Can you identify the shape of these objects? Yes, all are in circle shape. Suppose if you place a bangle on a paper, trace the boundary of the bangle. What is the shape you obtain? Exactly, you get a circle. So what is a circle? Circle is a round shape. Isn't it? But when we speak in terms of geometry, circle is a curved closed shape. So today we are going to discuss about circle, the parts of a circle. When I draw a circle on a paper and fold the circle in four times, and when I open and see, what do I get? I could see folds. I could see lines. The all the lines are meeting at one point. So that point is nothing but center of a circle. So here comes the first part of a circle. Center of a circle. Where all the lines meet at a point. We call it as center of a circle. Here comes the second part of a circle. Radius of a circle. When a line passes through the point, and joins at any one end of the circle, we call it as a radius. Let me put it simple. The distance between center of a circle and any point of a circle is nothing but a radius. Here comes the third part of a circle, which is nothing but diameter of a circle. So diameter is the longest line passes through the center of a circle meets both the ends of a circle we call it as a diameter so two times radius is nothing but a diameter here comes the next part circumference what is the circumference all about so circumference is outer boundary of a circle let me put it simple the distance around the circle is nothing but circumference. And next comes arc. What is this arc? Part of a circumference. We call it as an arc. In simple terms, a curve on a circumference is nothing but arc. So these are the most important parts of a circle we have discussed today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you all.